Looks like you're ready to go home. Yes. Me too. This time tomorrow, Logan. This time tomorrow. Oh, God, I can hardly wait. Have you seen Dad today? Yes, he stopped by earlier. How was he? He wants to have dinner with me, him, and the baby. Your last meal's a family, yeah? Yes. He's going to be fine, Ridge. He was very kind to me today. I really do think he's accepted it. I hope so. I never thought this day would come. But it has. And I've got to say, it's all due to your credit. You made it happen. You hung in there. You never gave in. I told you I'd wait for you. Have to get so dressed up. Well, it isn't every day that a girl gets asked out for a quick bite to eat in surroundings like these. Well, I want some privacy. Well, you certainly know how to get it. Glass of wine? Absolutely. To friendship. You've been the best. Will we ever come back here? Joey asked. Yes, said his dad. When the snow starts to melt and the robin returns, you and I will come back. But that won't be for a long time, Daddy. And until then, you have to always remember the lessons that we learned together. And there, look, here's, uh, here's Joey and his daddy, and they're walking. See? And that's just like you and me. But not nearly as handsome. Well, <sighs> look who's here. Is Daddy taking good care of you, huh? Of course he is. Why don't you two go in and get dressed? As will I. Yes, we have a pretty special night together, don't we? <laughs> okay, kiddo, come on. Let's go get ready and leave mommy to her own devices. Clothes at Forrester Creations, naturally. You look 
beautiful. And you look as handsome as ever, Eric. Thank you. Well, it's your party, as they say. Hors d'oeuvres are about to be served. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, what shall we drink to? The past, I suppose. The future, Eric. The future for both of us. No music? No bigger than life presentation? For what? Yes, indeed, for what? Let's see, last time I saw you, you wanted to take a long trip with me. First, you wanted to drive to the desert for dinner. Then you wanted to catch a plane from Palm Springs to Acapulco. And then you wanted to get a private chartered yacht to God knows where. But I turned you down. Smartest thing you ever did, Doc. Yes, I think it was. Because you know what? Good things happen to people who wait. And I am so glad I waited. Taylor. Am I rubbing it in? Look, I'm sorry. But when you know someone as well as I know you, you take a little pride demonstrating that knowledge. You don't really know me. Oh, I think I do. Want me to prove it? You're going to propose to me, Ridge. You're going to ask me to marry you tonight, aren't you? Say good night to Daddy. Good night, little guy. You sleep well, okay? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Mrs. Forrester. Yes, Judy, you can take him now. Let's go. Let's go like the wind. We go like the wind. Eric, this is not going to affect you and the baby. Yes, it will. We lived together, and starting tomorrow, that simply won't be true anymore. But you'll be able to see him whenever you want to, and as often as you want to. Well, that I appreciate. You're his father. Nobody's ever going to take your place, ever. Thank you. And, uh, in order to make all this easier for Eric, I want the two of you to stay here in the condo. What? I'll move out tomorrow. Eric, no. Brooke, it's the way I want things to be. But that's not fair. You designed this place. You love it. What I loved was not the condo. What we had in the condo. That's what I loved. I don't want to stay here without that. I want you and Eric Jr. to have the condo. Please, Brooke, do this for me and for our son. Well, did I hit the proverbial nail on the head?
Taylor, I, I didn't bring you here to... to ask you to marry me. Then... then why? I want to talk to you about tonight. Tonight? What is tonight? The end of, uh... The end of Brooke's... The end of Brooke's commitment to Dad. Tomorrow she's free. She, uh... She is. Taylor, I feel horrible about this. No, Rich. Not one more word. Not one. Taylor, wait, Not wait, wait Taylor. Please, don't. If you'd like to forego this evening. Forego it? You just seem to be a little disheartened. Disheartened? No, no, no. A little wistful, perhaps, but not disheartened. Look, you and I are celebrating something here tonight, Brooke. We're celebrating a very successful year together. A wonderful year. Best year of my life. It's over now, and we're both going our separate ways. But make no mistake, we had one hell of a year together. And that's what we're going to toast here tonight. You ready for dinner? Gentlemen, dinner will be served. 